We did watch AEW Dynamite Homecoming, January. What? No, that, that's, <laughs> oh, that's, God. That's Dynamite. That's that was, dynamite. What the f- That was Wednesday, Vinny. Thank you. He's here for the Cope Open. That's what they're calling it, yes. That ain't going to last. I, I, I honestly didn't even want to bring it up. I always, you know, see what the chat's talking about. And I went to video.f4wonline.com, and it says right here, Brian and Vinny show live. And so I clicked the link. And I'm reading the chat, and it's the same exact shit they were saying on Thursday. And I thought, am I losing my fucking mind? Turns out I was watching Thursday's show. I was reading the chat from the wrong show. Hmm. This must be the right one. There we go. Now they're talking about the Cope Open. He's facing and defeating young guys. I guess they get the rub. Sure. I'm, I'm not sure they really are. Yeah, how is this any different from Hall and Nash back in the day on WCW? Ooh, wow. mm. House of Black versus FTR and Daniel Garcia. A quite, quite great main event. It was, in fact, a street fight. They fought on the street. They did the suplex on that car, and then they said that it was... Uh, Rhett Titus. Rhett Titus's car. That yeah. poor guy. And he was there. Yeah, and he shows up. What happened to my... Hey, dude, where's my... What's, his, what's, the, what's that stupid movie? Dude, where's my car? Dude, yeah. where's my car? Well, he said, dude, that's my car. Yeah. And now it's the Three Stooges. Mm-hmm. There was a plunger to the face, a polar bear to the ass. Jericho photocopied his face. <laughs> he photocopied Starks' face. On Wednesday, they did that brawl, and they played Jericho's music the entire time. And people yeah. were like, oh, they're drown out the booze, or whatever. Well, they, uh, they didn't play the music the whole time here. And they did enter the building. And for a brief period, probably 5% of the people did boo for a second. There were scattered boos. But that, that was it. Sean is back. So I had a cough that turned into bronchitis that turned into pneumonia. And, it's and gross. you're completely frozen. Vinny did a show today, believe it or not. I did. Vinny willingly took it upon himself to watch and review yes. Raw. In 2024, mind you. I listened to you a little oh, bit. Oh, thank you, Greg. A little yes. bit. So you got, you got like a high first quarter and then it trickled down <laughs> from there. Exactly, yes. Okay. Yes, yes. Pair a wrestler past or present with a famous movie character and name the tag team. Jim Valley suggests Eric Bischoff and Michael Caine, Dirty Rotten Scoundrels. Mm. Mark Henry teams with Forrest Gump to form Box of Sexual Chocolates. <laughs> that's, that's a good one. If you say so. <laughs> Jim Ross teams with Walter Sobchak from The Big Lebowski. The Rule Book. You know, I thought this was a great idea. <laughs> yeah, what's going on here? Lord Alfred Hayes teams with Gandalf to form the Lords of the Ring. Okay. Darth Vader and Vader, the Vaders. (laughs) That one was. um... Bonus points if you make Sean literally die. (laughs) Well, he almost did right there. Carl Gotch and Travis Bickle, Got Style Taxi Driver. What what are you doing? Stop. We're done. (laughs) I'll do one more. Jungle Boy and Spider Man, Jungle Spider. You're an idiot. You're an idiot. Andrew, the, an, is it Andrew Andre? Uh, Andre? Andrew the Giant, yes. Andre the Giant versus Hulk Hogan. <laughs> Andre comes out, checks the cage. For what? Jungle spiders. No, no <laughs> ref around. But even though there were people that knew that he was going to be there, he still showed up and rode the tour bus with everybody in a mask. Excellent. Sitting all the way in the back all by himself. And everybody was like, what are they doing this for? That's weird. This and the main event were both absolutely fucking great in absolutely completely different <laughs> like ways. mirror opposite ways. And what was the better match? I don't know. Probably the main event. Who knows? But what was my favorite match? It was this one here. We got to talk about Okada. So what's going on? I would not say that it's a lock that he's going to AEW. I would say it's very likely that he's going to AEW. But it's not like WWE ain't throwing a lot of money around. And it's not like WWE has no interest in Okada. Trust me, they have interest. To the point where, if you think that it's like some coincidence that Nakamura kept saying that he was going to bring chaos Mm. to WWE, I mean, things like that are not a coincidence. Christian Cage versus Dustin Rhodes, which I believe had a combined age of like 106. It was awesome. It was two fabulous workers doing modern-day spots. And at the end of the day... This was the best match on the show. Maybe the best moment in the entire show. Mark Briscoe comes out. Maybe. (laughs) 
Bro, this was the best segment of the year. Yeah. I can't imagine there being a better segment at any point this year. Through his most personal tragic loss, he was the one carrying the rest of all of Mark, uh, Jay's friends and letting them know everything's going to be okay. And it felt like for 365 days, Mark was carrying that weight and... Him being out here with Jay's kids, it felt like Mark finally got to let that go and the kids could carry him. These pews, man, these are special, special people. Renee interviews the Young Bucks, who now wish to be known, since they are, after all, EVPs, Nicholas and Matthew Jackson. Yes. So Renee asked them about their temper tantrums, their public meltdowns, and the rumors yeah. we have all heard. What rumors is she talking about? Well, there was this incident at... In well, I know Western. that, yeah. but that's not a rumor. It happened. Well. What rumors? What rumors are, are we talking about here? I guess their incident was... Are there other rumors that, anyway. I don't know about? That reminds me, you were on the news tonight. I mean... Because uh, the power went out? Uh, the, the Sean works for Cairo News. Cairo News wanted to talk to somebody in North Bend, where we had no power for 24 hours. So they sent a guy to talk to me. It's definitely been a bad storm. Uh... But we, we, we've, it seems like we've been dealing with more extreme weather, highs and lows, in the past two or three years than uh, uh, than I'm used to. Great clip. We also spoke. Great with clip. Sound. That's fantastic. I did get a great shot of you looking absolutely aghast. Huh? That's, 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 what? I'm almost positive she said this. I had to rewind it multiple times as well. I think she said, "Smack you right in the box." That's what she said. Okay. Huh? I want these men to wrestle five thousand times. It was just a fight. And then finally he goes for the muscle buster and Hook kicks out at one. <gasps> and when I saw these dumb idiots on the internet we don't even... talking about how oh, you killed the guy's fish. Get out of here. Do you understand anything about this business? This place, when he kicked out of that muscle buster at one, they lost their shit. Oba Femi does a promo. Holy shit, this guy. And we talked about the what treatment, where every time somebody says a line and pauses, the crowd goes, what? This crowd was giving him the who treatment. I don't mean who, like, who are you? Like, they're barking. Who? 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 Every time he speaks a sentence. And Dragon goes, I want a rematch. I deserve it. I want it at Vengeance Day. Oba says, nope. So he's clearly a heel. Yeah. But the fans love him. He's and he's so, a big, dominant dude. So awesome. So they're going to need to figure out how to get this guy over as a heel. Yeah. You don't see Carmelo as the dialogue is going on between these two. Yes. And Trick gets his match, and he's so excited. And he's all, oh, man, I get this vengeance day. What a great thing. And the camera pans over, and you could just see Carmelo like. <laughs> the rug's what? been pulled out from under him. And I looked at her, and I thought. I know you. You're the you're the fake Thea Hale. You're the spoof of Thea Hale. What the fuck is your name? Okay, Kalani, help me out here. What's her name? Kalani identifies her as girl. <laughs> the answer to the riddle, for those of you wondering, she is Brinley Reese. Noam says, it's not a trophy, it's a cup. <laughs> and Mont says, oh, I got a cup. And he pulls the cup out of his locker, the athletic supporter cup. Yes. And he dumps it into the Heritage Cup. Noam says, don't put that in there. And he yanks it out and then smells his cup. <laughs> at which point, uh, uh, Oromensa says, don't sniff it. <laughs> and he's right. Why would you sniff that? This was an awesome segment. Yeah, it, was, it ended up being much, much better than I expected. But still, the Battle Royal went too long and just too many randos. Well, there was 85. We got 85 people got TV time. Doesn't matter. I don't know who half of them are. They're not over. They're not getting over. Like, concentrate on a smaller number of people and get those people over. I don't need to see 20 random women going for 20 minutes in a Battle Royal, even if it's fine.